So this is the story of kind of how I almost killed my anesthesiologist. Okay, I didn't really almost kill him, but I definitely caused some bodily harm and I feel really bad about it. So some of you guys may or may not know, I've got through some medical testing for like various things, various polyps that have been found, um, you know, within my body. So about a year ago, uh, my doctors called for an MRI of my brain and spinal cord just to see a, a cyst that they had found to see if there was any protein forming in the cyst, which there wasn't. Um, it's called an arachnoid cyst. Because there was no protein, there's really nothing to be alarmed about. They needed to put me under for this exam, just because, for whatever reasons. If you've ever been put under anesthesia, you know it's fairly simple. Needle in your arm, count back from like 100 by 98, you're knocked out. Wake up what feels like five minutes later, but with an amazing rest, and you're good to go home. So, I go under, go into the machine, you know, again, feels like five minutes go by, waking up in a recovery room. But before then, before coming out of the anesthesia completely, I remembered seeing the room from an outside, out-of-body perspective, and seeing myself in the machine, the doctor, and the anesthesiologist. That was it. No floor, no walls, no medical equipment other than the MRI machine itself. And I'm seeing this from like a, from like a above standpoint, like I'm floating above my own body. And I remember seeing the anesthesiologist in, with his head in between my legs, like I had him in a headlock with my legs. <laughs> And that was it. And then I just, I woke up and it was just so weird to, to experience them. Like when I woke up, I was like, man, that was the weirdest dream. And I see like the nurses side eyeing me in the recovery room, like whispering amongst themselves. And I'm just like, man, what are these ladies talking about? And the one nurse is like, hey, can I get you a juice or a water or anything? You all right? And I was like, you yeah, know, I feel fine. I'm good. Took a water, you know, laying down still. The nurse is still talking to themselves. And I'm like, man, these, these ladies can sure chat. And then I see the anesthesiologist come out of another room with an ice pack on his neck. And I look at him. He looks at me and I'm like, dude, don't tell me that really happened. He was like, hey man, it's okay, people come out of that thing, you know, differently, it's different for everybody, and I was like, yeah, but bro, you, like, I put you in a leg lock, he's like, yeah, it was, it was pretty alarming when I was going to take the IV out of you, you just, like, leg shot up and caught me in the neck. There were not enough sorries in the world, basically. But, uh, you know, looking back on it, I'm like, it's pretty interesting that, like, people, you know, if you look up different articles, people say, like, while they're under anesthesia, they can still feel whatever exam they were going through or whatever surgery they were having or hear the doctors in the room. So if you or anybody you know has ever had an experience like that, like, leave a comment down below. I would love to hear about it and kind of learn a little bit more about what you think about it. But, uh, yeah. Again, to that dude, I feel so bad, man, and I'm so sorry. So if you guys ever have to go under anesthesia, just stay calm and stay casual.